Not so hasty cakes. Snow had came early to the island of Sodor, and it was heavier than usual. Thomas was being fitted with his snow plow. Elizabeth then rolled up with some food. I don't even need this silly old thing, Thomas said. Stuff and nonsense, steamed Elizabeth. You can't be a reliable engine if you can't get through the snow. You know I'm reliable, said Thomas. I just don't like my snowplow. Everybody needs their snowplow suit so that they won't get stuck in the snow, Elizabeth said. Puh, said Thomas. Snow is silly sop stuff. It won't stop me. Toby then arrived to pick up Henrietta. You know something, Thomas, Toby said. The last time an engine who first worked on his bridge line said something like that, they ran straight into a snow drift. Rubbish, Thomas said. Snow is as soft as cuddly covers. And he steamed off to collect Annie and Crowbell. The snow fell was heavy and uncomfortable and made Thomas cross. Elizabeth is rude, Thomas puffed as he steamed along. And this snowplow makes my buffers ache. Better safe than sorry, better safe than sorry, sang Annie and Clarabelle. But Thomas paid no attention. At far quar, Thomas found Sir Topham Hatt talking to Elizabeth. I need you to go to the mill and collect some cakes and take them to Tidmouth Harbor. Please, sir, said Thomas. Can I do the job? I need you on your line, Thomas, Sir Topham had said. Besides, Elizabeth knows those roads well. She's reliable. I'm reliable too, Thomas said. Apparently not reliable enough, Elizabeth said. And she set it off to the mill. Thomas was cross. Despite that there was a lot of snow, Thomas worked hard all day. Elizabeth was having a harsh time as she stood along the ro road and made it on her way to the mill. Elizabeth's wheels didn't like the ice. Thomas then arrived at the harbor to pick up Terence. But as he arrived, he couldn't see Elizabeth anywhere. Where is Elizabeth? He wondered. The snow might be holding her back, said Terence. If she won't make it in time, the barge will miss the tide, said the harbor manager. He's right, said Sir Topham Hatt. And the children won't be able to have their Christmas cakes. So Thomas, I need you to go find Elizabeth at once. Wait away, sir, Thomas said. Even though Elizabeth can be really mean, Thomas knew that it would be best to help her after all.
When Elizabeth arrived at the mill, she was piled with crates of Christmas cakes. Sir Topham Hats were lying on me. I mustn't be late, she said. And she set it off at once. But there was a problem. Elizabeth she tried to go slowly, but she kept rolling faster. Elizabeth then approached a steep hill. Her driver tried to apply the brakes. She then shut her eyes as she saw a snow drift right in front of her. The driver tried to apply Elizabeth's brakes even harder, but it was too late. Elizabeth was stuck. Thomas was still looking for Elizabeth when her driver flagged him down. Elizabeth is stuck. I need help to dig her out, said her driver. Don't you worry, Elizabeth. We'll get you out. Snow never worries Terence, and he pulled Elizabeth out of snow easily. We're gonna have to hurry, said Thomas. It wasn't your fault, Elizabeth. It's the slippery roads. Elizabeth felt pleased. And Thomas set it off to the harbor at once. Thomas soon arrived at the harbor just in time. Sir Topham Hatt was pleased and was also pleased to see that Elizabeth was safe and well. I'll get you unloaded immediately, he said. As soon as the barge was loaded with the Christmas cakes, it was getting ready to leave. Now the children will have their Christmas cakes, said Thomas. Well done, Thomas, says Sir Topham Hat. Once again, you have proven yourself to be, again, a really useful engine. Elizabeth had to agree. Thank you, Thomas, she said. I had to admit, you and I are both reliable. And Thomas agreed.